obscuring, in my view, the opportunity for a better economic and social future for County Meath and the North West. The Minister for Transport to address you and to officially open the M3. <coughs> Meath County Council, uh, other Cahirligan Mayor that are present, Cor Laurie, Oroctus members, distinguished guests, um, ladies and gentlemen, uh, special Cade Mila Falcha to all of our Spanish guests uh, that are with us. Cade Mila Falcha, 100,000 welcomes to them. Um, I met them earlier on this morning. They were talking about the wonderful weather we have here in Ireland. I didn't like to. Uh, disillusion them by telling them that they probably brought the weather. It's the only thing we can't control here. But today is, is one of the most historic days in the history of this county, uh, a county that's steeped in history itself. I'm very pleased and very proud uh, as a representative of this constituency, this county, to be here to perform the official opening of what is a much needed and very strategically significant uh, project. It's a project that's a vital part of this government's program to put a top class road network in place and to try and upgrade the roads around the country. It's not too often in politics you get to um, see a project from its uh, conception almost right through to design and to building but this is uh, one project that I can certainly say I've seen through all of the stages. Um, it started when I was in the Department of the Environment, when we had responsibility for roads. Uh, it has progressed through various stages to today, to today's happy occasion uh, when we can officially open it. Um, and it is an important, a very, very important project for the County of Mead, but it's also crucially important to other counties and regions because it is it will hugely improve the road transport connections between the northeast and the and the east of this country the northwest and the east of this country it'll link the northwest cavan north meath with dublin city uh, this is one of the busiest corridors transport corridors in the country and uh, I don't need to tell the audience here today uh, that it has seen a huge rise in traffic volumes in recent years because of the great population growth in County Meath. And towns, the growth in towns like Dunshockton, like Navan and Kells, and indeed in other towns and villages adjacent to it. Uh, the new M3 will enable motorists now to bypass all of these towns. And all of us who do business or commute or live along this route have been looking forward to this day for quite some time and it's great that it has finally arrived. Um, the M3 is more than a road, it's something that's going to make life better and easier for those living in this area, for commuters along the route. It'll be safer, a faster way of travelling, although I'm not encouraging anybody to up their speed. And it will cater for about 37,000 vehicles per day. Um, you can expect uh, staying within speed limits to uh, reduce the average um, length of your journey by at least 20 minutes on the new road. And that's hugely important in these days. But most importantly, the people of Dunshockland, Navan and Kells will now get their towns back. <laughs> After many years of having to deal with congestion, with traffic tra crawling through the towns and making the simplest car journey in those towns was a, a, a nightmare. Today is the end of that. So for that reason alone, it's a momentous day. I want to, I, I wish to see all of these towns now making full use of the benefits of the new uh, system. And the Cahirlach mentioned about HGVs going through towns and everything else. If we can do a little bit of ping pong to the uh, chairman, it is up to Meath County Council now uh, to put in place the restrictions that will keep the HGVs uh, out of the towns, except for doing the uh, servicing business and so on. I think we have a glorious opportunity to make this a very pedestrian and cyclist 
friendly county and we should use the old roads to do that and make it very unattractive for HGVs to use it. Just to say that this is the largest single road project to be constructed in Ireland. Uh, it provides 110 kilometres of new public roads and a further 34 kilometres of access roads. Um, there's a 60 kilometre dual carriageway motorway from Clanee to the Meath Cavan border, 4 kilometre N52 bypass at Kells, the 32 or 35 kilometre of side roads and 15 kilometres of link roads. That's the size of the project. And as I said earlier, this M3 will generate many environmental, economic and social benefits for all of this area. The removal of the substantial through traffic from the local network will help the towns to re-establish themselves, it will help smaller communities. And it's also going to be, as the county manager has said, a vital aid to improve competitiveness and efficiencies in the economy of County Meath and indeed the other counties served by the N3, M3 uh, route. It will play a major part in facilitating continued economic growth and maintaining competitiveness nationally as well as regionally. Uh, can I take the opportunity of thanking everybody involved in the project, um, particularly uh, Eurolink motorway operations that M3 Limited the designers White, Young and Green, the engineers M3 Meath Consult, and obviously the NRA itself, uh, which has done a fantastic job over the last 10 years, and our own local authority, Meath County Council, for the fantastic work that they have done. Some of you may have noticed um, that uh, over here on the right of the podium, the Spanish flag is flying, and the Irish flag, and the Spanish flag is much larger than the Irish flag. Um, I'm not sure who's responsible, but I'm, I'm told that um, there's quite a number of people around here that um, have decided that they're going to support, because of the provision of this road here, they're going to support Spain in the World Cup, so that's why the flag is... <laughs> To everybody associated with this, it's a fantastic day for me. It's a historic day for me, and I'm delighted that you could all join us to share in that. Very nice market. Thank you very much, Minister. Um, Minister Dempsey now will um, uh, unveil the plaque over here on the right-hand side.